The judge in Donald Trump's federal January 6th trial is deciding whether to issue a gag order in the case. Judge Tanya Chutkin is hearing arguments today on whether to restrict Trump's comments on social media and in public. Special counsel Jack Smith has said Trump's open criticism of the prosecution and possible witnesses could have a chilling effect on the proceedings. But Trump's legal team has argued a gag order would violate his free speech rights. Political correspondent Avajoy Burnett reports on the request and the tricky balance of constitutional rights that prosecutors face. Former President Donald Trump is accused of emboldening protesters on January 6th. Now, special counsel Jack Smith is concerned the former president will use that same influence to intimidate potential witnesses or jurors before next year's trial. Prosecutors want Judge Tanya Chutkin to issue a gag order and to take steps that will protect the identities of prospective and selected jurors after former President Trump posted statements like this. If you go after me, I'm coming after you. Prosecutors say Trump is trying to undermine confidence in the criminal justice system and prejudice the jury pool. But Trump's attorneys say the gag order request is an unconstitutional attempt to silence President Trump's First Amendment rights to free speech ahead of the 2024 elections. His attorneys writing, if the prosecution wishes to avoid criticism for abusing its power, the solution is simple. Stop abusing its power. Former federal prosecutor David Weinstein says Judge Chutkin will have to balance Trump's free speech rights against the prosecutor's concern over potential jury and witness intimidation. I think that this judge will look at a variety of gag orders that have been issued both in and around the district and fashion one that allows people to have free speech and then also requires them not to say something that's going to influence the outcome of this case outside of the court. Avajoy Burnett, Scripps News, Washington. And a bit of news this morning, Judge Chutkin has said she is not moving the March trial date, saying the trial will not be determined by the election cycle.